In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom squeeze page like this from scratch. On the squeeze page, when someone click the button, they will see a pop-up like this where they can enter their email address. After that, they will be redirected to the next page where they can purchase the course. And we can send them automated emails using the help of system.io. To create the squeeze page, open your system.io dashboard, click on websites and then click on sales funnels. Here you can see I already have one funnel created. On your screen, you may not see any funnels because you haven't created one yet. To create a new funnel, just click create and write down your funnel name. In the funnel domain field, you will see a default subdomain provided by system.io. For now, you can't change it because you haven't added your custom domain to this platform. Later, I will show you how to add a custom domain so that you can change from here. For now, just focus on the funnel creation process. Next, choose your funnel goal. Here you have four funnel goal options, build an audience, sell product or services, run an evergreen webinar, and custom funnels. I am going to show you how to build a funnel from scratch, so I will choose custom. If you choose sell or build an audience, it will automatically add steps for those funnel goals, which saves you time. Now let's select your currency and click save. And our funnel is created. Now open the funnel and you will get an interface something look like this. If you're seeing it for the first time, it might be a little confusing to you. So let me give you some context about these tabs. Here on the step configuration tab, we will create and manage new steps. For example, in a sales funnel, we have multiple pages like the squeeze page, thank you page, upsell page, downsell page, and so on. All these pages will be created on the step configuration tab. Next in the automation rules tab, we will create automation rules. For example, when someone submits their email address on the squeeze page, they will automatically receive an email into their inbox. This can be achieved from this automation rules tab. Next, AB test tab helps you test different versions of your funnel to see what works best. Set up and manage test, compare results and make changes to boost conversions. Stats, leads, sales and deadline settings. This step we will review later after building the funnel. For now, let's create the squeeze page. To create the squeeze page, click add step and enter the name of the step. You can write down here such as home, squeeze page, landing page or whatever you prefer. I will write down here TikTok PLR squeeze space. Then select the type into squeeze space and click save. Here you can see the squeeze space text with an error icon. This icon will automatically disappear after selecting a template. From the template section, select one you like. Before selecting a template, you can preview it by clicking here. Once you like the template, just come over here and click select and this template will be applied to the squeeze space and the error icon will also disappear. Now to see your squeeze space, click view final step and you can see your squeeze space. Here you can see after the domain, here is some random URL path. To change it, come over here and write down the text you want to see after the URL. I will just write down here home, then click outside and it will be saved. Now to see the change, click view final step and you can see the URL path is changed successfully. Now we are going to redesign the squeeze space from this to this. So to do this, just come over here and click edit page. You will get an editing interface like this. Using the system.io's drag and drop editor, you can easily build any kind of design even if you're not a tech savvy person. So don't be afraid if you're seeing it for the first time. Now we are not going to use these templates. We will build the squeeze space from scratch. So we will delete the entire section. To delete anything, it can be a text, an image or a button or an entire section. Simply click the element you want to delete. Then on the top left, click the delete icon and click OK. And the element will be removed. Follow the same steps, select the section and click delete. And that section will be deleted. Now repeat the process to delete the entire section. And drag the image element over here. Now scroll down below and drag the button element over here. Now come over here and drag the headline text over here. Now drag the text element over here. Now from here drag the video element and lastly just scroll down below and drag the button element over here. So we have added all the elements that we want on the squeeze page. Now we just need to change the content and styles of these elements then our page will look like the same. Now click here to view the page in full screen mode. In full screen mode, it looks like this, where you can see these elements taking up the entire screen. To make it look better and more responsive, just click over here, select the section, scroll down below 
and make the content width full page to white. Now click over here to see the screen in full screen mode. And you will notice it's not taking the full width and looks better. So whenever you add a section, make the content width into white. Now let's change all the elements. Click the image, click here and drag the image over here. Now select the image and click insert. Now click the button, make it submit form to open URL, scroll down below, write down your button text and delete the subtext. Now click the headline text, double click here and write down your text. Now click here, double tap here and write down your text. Now scroll down below and click the video, set the video type direct link to upload file, click here and click select files. Then select the file you want to upload. I have already uploaded the video. So I'll click cancel and I'll click your videos. Now I'll choose the video and I'll click insert. Now scroll down below, click the button, make it submit form to show pop-up and later I will show you how to create a pop-up. First add all the elements content. Scroll down below and change the button text. Scroll down below and remove the subtext. And now we have added all the elements content. Now let's make it look exactly the same by changing the fonts, colors and spacing. First of all, let's change the background color. So click here and scroll down on top. Click the section, click here and double tap here and paste your color code. Next, click the button, scroll down below, set the font size 34 pixel and make the line height into 23 pixel. For the font type, I will choose custom fonts. Then from here, I will choose Sora semi bold. If you want to upload your custom font, then click here and then just select your .ttf file. Then on the your file sections, you will see all the fonts. So I've already uploaded, so I will choose Sora semi bold. Now scroll down below and remove the background color. Put the padding on the top and bottom, make it 15 pixel by 15 pixel. And for the left and right, I will use here 70 pixel. Set the rounded corner 100 pixel from all the sides. Scroll down below, change the border style solid to dotted. Make the type into full border and change the color into white and make the size into 2 pixel. Now click here and set the font size into 32 pixel. Make the line height into 51 pixel and font type make it custom and choose Sora regular. Now click here and press Ctrl A. Click over here and make the color into white. And here you can see it have added a space. So I'll just click backspace and from here I will also click backspace. Then it will be look like this. Now click here, make the font size into 27 pixel and make the line height into 55 pixel. Make the font size custom fonts and make it Sora semi bold. Now double click here and click here, make the color into this or we can make it a little bit more lighter. Also click over here, scroll down below and click here and add 15 pixel margin from the bottom. Now click the video. Turn off the autoplay, make the control on and upload the thumbnail image. So I'll just drag the thumbnail image over here. Now select the thumbnail image and click insert. Make the border radius into 10 pixel. Set the border style into solid. Make the border color into white. Add 2 pixel width and make the type into full border. Now click over here and add 25 pixel margin from the top and bottom and add 100 pixel margin from the left and right side. Next, scroll down below and click the button. Set the font size into 18 pixel. Make the line height into 23 pixel. From here font type, choose Google fonts and I will choose enter and I will make it extra bold. Now scroll down below and for the background, make it gradient and click here, click here and double click here and paste your gradient color. Now click here and paste your second color over here. Click the button, scroll down below and remove the solid border. Then it will be look like the exact same to our original landing page, which is this. See, this is the original one and this is we just created. And it's going to be look like this on the mobile devices. And later I will show you how to make it mobile responsive. Now let's come over here. Now let's save changes. Now let's see the preview and see our 
squeeze page is done. Now if someone click over here, then this video will be played. And if someone click over here, then the pop-up will appear. So now I will show you how to create the pop-up like this. If someone click over here, then this pop-up will appear. So now I will show you how to create a pop-up like this and collect leads. So to create the pop-ups, just open your system Twitter dashboard, click on websites, click on sales funnels. Now open the funnel where you want to create the pop-ups and click edit page. On this page, when someone click the button, the pop-up will appear. So to create the pop-ups, click pop-ups. Here you can see I already have one pop-up created. To create a new one, click pop-ups, click add pop-up and the pop-up will be appeared over here. Now we just need to customize the pop-up. To customize it, click edit pop-up settings, show close button on and add a red color to this close button icon. And open pop-up automatically make it off. Make the width into 603 pixel and add 30 pixel padding from the top. Make the border solid color into red color and make it full border and the size is 3 pixel. Make the shadow into soft shadow and add 6 pixel rounded corner from all the sides. Now click the text, double click here and paste your text. Now set the font size to 32 pixel and make the line height into 45 pixel. And from the font type I will choose custom fonts and I will choose Sora bold. Next click the button, make it submit form and make it to the next step because we want to redirect to the next step which is the order form. And if you want to open a custom link, then you can use these ones. And if you want no redirections, then you can use the no redirection options. But I want to redirect to the next page, so I will click here to the next step. And I will just make the double opt-in turn off for now. Now add 15 pixel margin from the top and change the button text. Now set the font size into 16 pixel and make the line height into 23 pixel. I will choose custom font and I will choose Sora bold. Now remove the subtext. Now let's change the button background color. So click over here and make it solid to gradient. Click over here and paste your color code over here. So I will just double click here and paste my first color code. Then click over here and paste the second color code over here. Then the background will be changed. Now add 15 pixel margin from the top and 10 pixel on the bottom. And on the left and right, make it 40 pixel. Make the rounded corner 10 pixel from all of the sides. Scroll down below and remove the border solid color. Once everything is done, click save changes. Now click pop-ups, now click outside here. Now click the button, make it show pop-up and from here select the pop-up that we just created. So click over here and select the pop-up number 2. So just select the pop-ups and click save changes. Now to see it, click preview. Now scroll down below and if click over here, then the pop-up will be appeared. And if someone click over here, then the pop-up will be closed. And if someone fill the form and click here, then they will redirect to the next page, which is the order page. Now to check it, I will add this demo email and click here get access to the entire course. See currently it's not working because we didn't create the next page yet. So to solve it, I will just come over here. I will click exit. If I just click here add step and this is the order page, order form. And from here, if I choose order form and then click save and select this template for now, then click view final step, scroll down below. If we click over here and if we enter our email and click here get access to the entire course, then see this time it will be work successfully. It's redirect to the next page, which is the order form that we just created for a demo purposes. Now to view all the leads, simply click here leads and here you can see all the leads that you collected from the pop-up. So that's it for this particular video. By following these simple steps, you can create a custom pop-up like this in system.io. Thank you for watching and keep watching our videos.